Hi, I'm Lee with Reviewed.com, and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Panasonic's 2013 smart platform. It's called the Air Connect. It was also called the Air Connect last year and the year before. But these, this year they've made some additions that uh, have actually made it much more usable than it was in previous iterations. So the basics of the Air Connect are these home screens, which um, for the first time are completely customizable. So the TV comes preloaded with some screens. Um, but you can also make your own, which is probably one of the coolest things that this uh, platform does. And what it, what it does is, is it has a little PIP picture in picture, and then you've also got apps and bookmarks that you can sort of add yourself. Uh, you can go with the pre-made screens or you can make your own, which is what I'm going to do. So you, then you have uh, three templates to choose from. kind of wish there were more templates. kind of wish they didn't all have an advertisement spot, but you know, you gotta take what you get with this. So let's go with the one that's got uh, the smaller picture and more apps. And then you're brought to a customization area. So you wanna name it. And I will say that typing on this platform is still not that great. Trying to delete an input text is uh, just sort of, a, sort of a hassle. However, if you get the VT60 or WT60 Panasonic series. It does come with the Panasonic Touch Remote, which will let you use it sort of like a mouse, and then you can move the cursor and type things in that way. It's not that much better, but it is better. Uh, we recommend using a USB keyboard with one of these TVs because it's just much, much more intuitive. The touchpad remote actually has a microphone that can let you input text and you can just speak it and it just picks it up and puts it right on the TV. So, Lee's home screen. And there it is. And that's much easier than trying to type everything. From here you can uh, add apps. There really aren't that many apps to choose from right off the bat. Uh, you've got things like a DLNA server, you can add the menu, which, I mean, a lot of these things are already on the remote, so adding them as apps is kind of pointless, but you probably want to add the web browser, and maybe uh, one of the games or something, like Put3, which I, I, I can't recommend these games very, very highly. They're all sort of cheap flash games. Um, I mean, little kids would love them, but as far as comparing to, like, modern console games, they're really not not the best thing, but th there are a number of apps already installed on the TV and you just have to add them. But yeah, once you've got apps added, you can select a background here, which you can actually upload your own images to that. Uh, you just put images on a USB stick, put them in uh, the USB port on the side of the TV there, and then you could have like a picture of your family or your dog or your favorite car and just put it back there in the background and you could look at it whenever you watched TV. So I'm gonna go with this Beachscape. And then you've got facial recognition data. So facial recognition data is only available on the WT60 and the VT60, which is the LCD and plasma Panasonic flagships for this year. And you can't see it right now, but there's actually a pop-up camera up here that will take a picture of your face. It pops up. And then once it recognizes a human face, it will find it there. And you capture it and register it to the home screen. Now the coolest thing about this isn't really that it can take a picture of your face because some TV companies are doing that last year. What's really cool is that it recognizes it just based on the one picture. So if you had a family of four and you each made your own home screen, you could each register facial data and then when you went to use the TV and use VR Connect, it would recognize your face and automatically go to the screen that you had made, which is probably one of the cooler things about the whole platform. All right, so now that I've got my home screen made, um, let's check out the web browser. So traditionally, the web browser has been not that great. Um, when you try to use Panasonic's web browser with this basic remote, which is what most of the TVs come with, it's a little sluggish. I mean, you can certainly use it, but it just takes a really long time. I, I don't know that it's um, the best way to do this, but by comparison, the touchpad remote 
is actually really cool. And it will just follow you with, you know, sort of the speed of a mouse. And you can scroll through web pages. It's still, you know, it still would be better with a real mouse or with a trackpad. But, I mean, overall, if you wanted to navigate through this website, for example, it's really not too hard to do. That's pretty much it for the uh, VR Connect Smart Platform. It's got a lot of cool features, uh, mostly in the form of hardware. Um, and if you want to see a full review of the VT60 Panasonic's flagship, you can head over to review.com for more.